In this short video, we're going to cover how to create custom fades in Hindenburg. I'm Brian Ensminger. I'm a podcast host, and I also edit some podcasts as well. And one of the things that you sometimes might want to do with any audio program is to fade in the audio. With Hindenburg in general, and I've got just a general session open right now, in Hindenburg in general, if you just grab the handles, you can very quickly create a fade. Super simple. However, if you want to create a custom fade where it's not linear, like this one, it can be maybe not super intuitive. Here's how I do it. If I want to create a custom fade, I determine where I want the last part of the fade to happen, and I select a little bit of audio right about that point, and then I start making my edits. So I'm going to just grab this and drag it, drag it down. This is going to represent the last part of the fade right here. I'm dragging all of the audio before that down. And then I'm going to just grab this handle and drag it over to create that custom fade. And what that, and then I can, if I don't like it exactly, I can kind of drag it back and forth like that. In fact, I can even make it go the other direction. Super cool. What that does is it allows me to have a slightly slower fade and then pick up the speed of the fade later. Later, You can do that on both the beginning, like we just saw, as well as the end. I'll just demonstrate that really quickly right here. I select the region. This is where I want the fade point to be. I'm going to drop that down to wherever it is that I want it to be. And then I'm going to create that fade. And I can go ahead and, you know, move that around. Or alternatively, if I want to have it shelf at that range right there and then fade down later, I can do that as well simply by following that same process. So I've selected the region. I make the first portion of the fade. And then I make the last portion of the fade. And then I can adjust it to taste based on how I want that to sound. That's how you can make a custom fade in Hindenburg really pretty simply, I think. If you have any other questions about Hindenburg, you might want to consider joining our Hindenburg group on Facebook. You can find that at hindiusers.com. That will direct you right to that Facebook group. We'd be glad to have you there. A bunch of people who all use and love Hindenburg various stages of their development in terms of editing. So you have a wide range of people both asking questions and offering solutions. This might be a great place for you to connect. And if you have any desire to have somebody help you with the editing of your show or to get up and running on Hindenburg, visit toptieraudio.com and send me your request that way. Be glad to hear from you.